What is going on Shrimp Keepers? This is Rob with FlipAquatics.com and today I have something extremely exciting for you. So this is something that I've been waiting for a long time. We finally are at this point where we got in NanoFish. We've run our test. This is our final like third test I guess it, it would be something like that. But we finally got in a ton of NanoFish. Uh, we got three boxes of just random stuff so can't wait to show you guys this. Check these babies out. Uh, we got a new supplier of this stuff, so we're super excited to be testing out this supplier. Um, three boxes. We also have some craziness going on here. Uh, we, we got this baby in. Uh, this is just like a photo booth kind of thing, so we can take pictures for the website. Uh, we're taking pictures of these 12 inch wood right now. Um, this is actually called dragon wood. Uh, we call it bonsai wood on the on uh, the website flipaquatics.com and uh, what we do is we just do what you see is what you get with this stuff and uh, as you can see like these things are massive um, so we're going to try them out in this photo booth I'll show you what they look like Hold on. now don't get it confused this is not number one looks blue but that's okay oh oh there it goes so yeah so we're getting pictures of these guys right now we're going to be listing them on the website um, so these are really sweet if you want to instant aquascape but i figured since they were out i'd show you guys but this is what we're here for these babies i'm excited to see how these these arrive so we're going to get these unpacked as quick as we can and i'll show you what they look like in the tanks if you guys like what we're doing here at flip aquatics can you just take a minute and hit that subscribe button it doesn't cost you anything we really appreciate it, it helps us out a, a absolute ton and it gives you a chance to join the flip aquatics team and see what we have going on here at Flip Aquatics every single week. So as you can see, we have a lot going on. We have a ton of things going on every week. So again, hit that subscribe button and we look forward to you joining the Flip Aquatics family. Box number one. Got a heat pack, still warm. It's a good thing. Now they bag in huge stinking bags. Let's see what these guys are. Oh, these look like uh, rasboras, the mosquito rasboa, which I believe is the chili rasboa off the top of my head. Doesn't look like there's any dead in the bag, which is a phenomenal phenomenal thing we'll set those over there Ooh, don't do that don't do that oh gosh oh gosh oh rookie let's make sure there's none up here looks good that was a rookie mistake yeah these are redfin mosquito rasboras so yeah I believe those are the chili rasboras they look great none dead oh 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 there's one not a big deal, not a big deal. All right, next up, let's see what we got. We got more of them. So we got a whole nother bag of these guys. I think we ordered around 400 of them, something like that. But yeah, they're looking good here. I'll put them on the top of the white box so we can actually see them. Kind of goes where it wants to go. Nice. So that's it for box number one. Box number two. Got the heat pack in there. Still nice and warm. Bag one. Black neon tetras. It's like one dead one in there. There we go. Yeah, these guys look good. Oh, I'm so excited. You gotta love getting in the fish. What are these guys? Holy smokes, look how many are in there. Oh, I know what these are. Now that bag looks like it has some dead ones in it, which is not a good thing. So we gotta get those out of there immediately. Look. 
That kind of sucks. That was the only bag that looks like the water is pretty, pretty yucky. So we'll have to send that in as a DOA, which really sucks. This bag looks like it's got a little bit of discolored water, but these guys look really good. One of those suckers, maybe a few dead in there, nothing too crazy. So we're gonna have to get these out of the bag. Yeah, I only see one that looks bad, and it's just this one right here that's flipped upside down. So that's not terrible. These are cherry barbs. We got it. Man, their color looks phenomenal. No dead ones in the bag. That's good, and that's it. That's all we ordered for the, for the first shipment, kind of test them out. Uh, it sucks about these corridors, yeah. We gotta get these guys uh, acclimated right away. All right, so we got the whole crew here. We got Marcus Aurelius, we got Jeff, and uh, we're gonna try to save the, the corridors. Oh, that stinks. Poor guys. Yes, bag. Oh, yoder. sucks for a first shipment to get get something like that yeah I mean the temperature shock shouldn't be too far off because these are 74 and their their bag was 70 but yep Some on our side. Definitely losing some soon. So we're gonna see how many are left tomorrow or before we leave tonight. Did you take a photo of this this, this here to show the other guys? For up. Little cup of death right there. And since we got put in charge of videotape and everything, we got one other bag of fish in the water so far, and it looks like only one dead. One dead loach. Got algae build up for them to eat before they got here. Borneo loaches looks just like a hillstream loach. Has a different scientific name when we looked them up, but they look pretty much the same to me. Especially that one right there. We didn't put the other fish in yet? Nope. We're going to get footage of all those here in a second. So there's got 100 in this tank right now. We'll probably split it up to. 50 and then 50 right here next to them. See which what tank they do better in. So we have cherry barbs left to get in the water. Some black neons. I think we got 150. Looks like I have one floater. We'll get them in water here soon. They're decent size. Mara Rasboras. I think we ordered 200. They're pretty discolored, they look stressed out. So we'll get them in water and get footage of them later. And then we got redfin mosquito. Which I believe are the chili rasboras. Just a different name for them. I don't see any dead ones in this bag. But we'll get footage of those in a little bit. 
All right, we're gonna unbag the cherry bars that we got in. Cut T's fingers off. All right, you're good. I got it. Ready? Yep. So these guys look a little bit washed out, but they should color pretty nicely. Looks like the majority of them are males, but they're usually the most colorful. So if you're not trying to breed and just want some color in your aquarium, they're perfect for that. They're nice old school and fish. All right, so T just got our bag of black neons down there. Just finished washing our net off in vinegar and rinsing it out nice. Uh, we're on our newest fish rack. We just got finished. There's tanks, tanks and water. Still a few shrimp tanks in here because we're primarily shrimp first. We've got some orange eye blue tigers and a couple buried ones over here. But let's get back to putting fish in tanks. Yep. one casualty in this bag. We'll get these guys medicated and see how well they color up. We decided to put them in a tank with blue background, try and make them more comfortable. And there's more fish to come. So these are gonna be your chili rasboras, if I'm not mistaken. We're gonna get them into their tank right now. So I believe we have a bag of 200 Phoenix Rasboras. They look pretty good in the bag, a little stressed out, but we're gonna put them in the tank now. Oh yeah. Wow. Since Rob forcibly made us to record video for him while he was getting his hair cut for Aquashella, uh, I'm going to show off my favorite tank, which is our collection of blue Missouras that we keep from each order that gets sent in with the Black King Kongs and sometimes the Blue Bolts. Obviously, the Nano Fish order did not go the way that we anticipated it. It actually really sucked. Um, I hate seeing that many dead fish, especially Corridoras, Paleotis, which are like one of the cutest catfish ever. Um, so that really sucked. Um, hopefully, I emailed the company. Hopefully, they make it right. Um, we'll definitely see. Mark's yelling at me. Apparently, we have a uh, hit a wire here. But yeah, it really does suck. But we'll go check on them after we get this order on the so it is day two of the acclimation process. Um, doesn't look like they did well. I don't know how many are dead, uh, but there are still a decent amount alive. Um, we're hoping they'll pull through. Um, we're just gonna keep keeping these guys in stable water. Um, we're gonna do water changes. We got this set up to do um, about 100% water change over the course. Uh, it's about 150% water change over the course of the day. And so hopefully that'll help. But I'm gonna go through here and, and take the dead ones out and see how bad it was. And then uh, hopefully we can get the rest of these guys uh, up to health and, and save as many as we can. I just went through, I picked out uh, all the dead ones. Um, I'm gonna do a water change on it right now. I got this, this is linked up to our automatic water change system. So it's preheated, it's the right temperature, no chlorine, no ammonia. Um, it goes through a sediment filter, a carbon filter, so it's uh, it's good water. And the, this is how many we pulled out. It's just under 100, unfortunately, um, which really sucks. But, yeah, it just sucks. I mean, there's nothing else to it. Um, so I'm going to just keep uh, hitting these guys with uh, 
some big water changes, making sure that they're just as healthy as possible, they have the best water quality they can. Um, I mean, it seems like they like the extra flow. So, yeah, I'm just hoping they pull through. There's another one that looks like it's not doing too hot. And so we're just gonna keep doing our best to keep these guys alive and uh, see what happens. And fingers crossed, hopefully they do well. Pygmy quarries did not do good, but I am happy to say, even though that these guys came in with ick, as you can not see there, uh, a lot of these guys did come in with ick. I think we lost the big one right there. Again, not focusing, um, but we lost the big one there. We also lost one little one, and we've been treating this with uh, um, ick eggs slash quick cure, and, uh, and hopefully this will really uh, will really start doing good in the next couple of days. So we got more. Uh, Veras, Veras, Mira, I just call him Mira, Resbora. <laughs> oh man, the scientific name kills me. But these guys are doing really good. I think we lost three, maybe three. Um, but yeah, so these guys actually came in pretty good. I think we lost one yesterday. And so that's a good thing. These guys look to be doing really good. There might be one dead right there. And these guys are doing really good. These are the red mosquitoes, mosquito rasboras, or the chili rasbora. And uh, yeah, so really happy those guys did good. Um, the black neon tetras seem to be doing really well. The cherry barbs are actually doing extremely well. We haven't, we haven't lost any of these guys, but a lot of them are disformed. And what I mean by disformed, like, looks like they, they have stunted growth or their fins are a little funky. I don't know why, my camera is not focusing whatsoever today. So I apologize for the crappy quality of this video. Um, but I did want to do an update regardless. Let's see if it'll focus now. Kind of. You can see like some of them just have like short bodies. A lot of their fins are like misshapen. It's just not good. So I am disappointed in this first order. I would say my expectations were extremely high. Uh, I was thinking like 9 or 10 on the 1 to 10 scale, and uh, what actually happened was probably about a 3, uh, 2 to 3. Um, I mean, we got a lot of dead pygmy quarries, which I feel like could have been prevented if they were bagged separately. Like maybe 20 per bag, 25 per bag, something like that. It would take up the same amount of space, it's just more work. Um, the stunted growth on the, on the cherry barbs is just not good. The aggressive amount of <laughs> ick on the reticulated hillstream loaches was not good. I mean, they are doing well, so hopefully we won't lose too many. But it's just like a, a lot of like simple things that I think could have been avoided with this first order. So uh, hopefully the company that I was working with makes things right. Hopefully this is not how they normally do their orders and I'll give them another chance to redeem themselves and hopefully they do. But if not, then we're just gonna have to start importing fish directly and find responsible um, people from overseas that are doing this and breeding them themselves and and we'll have a lot more success that way So it's looking like that's what the option we're gonna go with but we shall see but I appreciate you guys hanging along for the journey and seeing What a nano fish order looks like a bad nano fish order looks like so I will keep you guys updated on how the nano fish do and uh, And so in 30 days, we'll see how the quarantine treated them and see how many are left and we'll do an update then